As explained in the first clip, there are various set modes available to output the voltages and currents in Quick CMC. For example, symmetrical components or powers. The phaser view is very useful if you are not working in the direct mode, but in one of the other set modes. The main function of this window is to show the actual outputs of the CMC generators. Having the phaser view activated and set to the output values mode is therefore strongly recommended. By right-clicking on the phaser view, you can always switch to other display modes to show calculated components in relation to the values you set in the test view. The impedance view window is only relevant if you choose one of the impedance set modes in the test view window of Quick CMC. In this case, the impedance view shows you the fault impedance that you have set in the analog outputs table, but you can also set the values by clicking on the impedance plane. The characteristic shown in the impedance plane is taken from the data set in the test object. The step and ramp functionality in test view lets you increase a certain quantity to perform basic pickup, drop off, or trip time testing of all protection functions. Depending on the selected set mode, you can ramp relevant quantities including voltages, currents, powers, and impedances. Use the signal and quantity drop-down menus to set the combination of your choice. The selected output quantity can be ramped in two ways, manually or using the Auto Step option. To ramp manually, you can either use the up-down button or the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the output values by the defined step size. To ramp automatically, select the Auto Step checkbox. To start the ramp output, click the up-down button first. The output values are now automatically increased or decreased according to the defined step size and time. Note that the signal step time cannot change more quickly than 100 milliseconds from one step value to another. The ramp will stop when the trigger condition is met or when the up-down buttons are clicked again. Once a ramp is stopped, the last generated ramp value is held and statically output till the CMC stops the injection by manually releasing the start button or using the automatic switch off option. Select the pulse ramping option when testing the values of a multifunctional protection relay with overlapping characteristics or functions. A pulse ramp inserts a reset state in between two consecutive ramp pulses. In this way, for example, the second element of an overcurrent protection can be tested. This is of particular use as we do not need to deactivate the pickup function of the relay. In terms of functionality, pulse ramping only works when the auto setup checkbox is selected.